The number of people without permanent roofs over their heads in Greensboro is growing, and among them, some of the brave men and women who have served our country. Mm -hmm. And one group is expanding its services with a new building, more than doubling its size and opening additional services. Fox 8's Madison Forsey spoke to leaders at the Servant Center about how they hope to impact more people. It might not look like much yet. So on this floor, we're converting this into a computer lab. Empty rooms with walls that need a fresh coat of paint. They've got a bathroom, a large room, and then two sides of a closet. But to Shanna Reese, we bounced around a lot. It's a permanent home for the Servant Center. We were in old facilities that had to be demolished. We've been here, we've been there. And a pathway to one for homeless veterans. They were willing to sac make the greatest sacrifice and um, some of them have struggles because of it, and so we need to be here to support them when they come back. With the help of the VA, City of Greensboro, and Guilford County, the Servant Center purchased the old Holden Heights nursing home off of Holden Road in Greensboro. On top of giving 21 homeless disabled veterans a temporary place to stay, it'll also house the county and city's first medical respite program. The program allows veterans to heal and recover from medical procedures before transitioning to different housing. The patients will mainly be referred to them from Cone Health. We're seeing an older population and we're seeing a population with a lot more medical issues. So this is something that is drastically needed in our community. On top of extra rooms, they'll also have areas for virtual and in-person meetings, a computer lab and a game room so veterans can connect with each other. We are in a housing crisis and there's so many folks who are looking for that place. Congresswoman Kathy Manning, along with City Council Member Hugh Holston, were impressed on a tour of the space with how much potential it has to impact the community. Every little bit helps. What we're finding out with our homing, uh, our, our uh, houseless situation, is that it is it is broad and it is deep. It's not just one type that we're going to need. We're going to need all different types. Reese hopes it can give a home and hope to more people in the triad. We don't ever plan on leaving. Madison Forsey. This is our forever home. Fox 8 News. The Servant Center hopes to be operational by next spring. They're putting together an advisory council to decide how they will coordinate the medical respite program and transition those veterans to other housing once they heal. Exactly.